now the latest on October 25th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Several systems are active around the world today, all in the eastern hemisphere. Typhoon Buraloi on its way out, tropical cyclone 4A, which should get a name soon in the Arabian Sea, and a subtropical depression in the far eastern Mediterranean today. 78 storms have formed so far around the world on day 146 of Atlantic hurricane season. There's also Invest 97L and an area of interest out over the North Atlantic. In the Eastern Pacific on day 163, no systems are active at this time. Very quiet now in the Eastern Pacific. And in the Western Pacific and North Indian Ocean, we have these two tropical cyclones. Ruoloi, which is swiftly moving on towards the Northeast and 4A. No systems are active in the Southern Hemisphere at this time though, it's all quiet here. So our main feature tonight is Cyclone 4A, which we estimate winds now of 60 miles per hour and a pressure around 989 millibars off the western coast of India, 15.4 degrees north, 71.6 degrees east. This system is likely to start moving towards the west, general rest westerly direction over the uh, next few days, and intensify along the way, probably becoming a Category 3 storm as it heads towards Oman. Now its long-term uh, future is uncertain, but there is the potential this storm could strike Oman as a significant cyclone moving along the coast there. Here's the latest imagery of this storm right now. Wind shear high towards the north, further south, not too much going on um, in terms of wind shear. A small uh, low pocket and low amounts of wind shear to the storm's west as well. So when it gets going, wind shear will probably be in the storm's favour just about. Um, we're not showing the uh, subtropical depression tonight because there is no imagery that I can use for it. But this is the North Atlantic as a whole. Just to make a little point on that subtropical depression, 30 mile per hour winds, pressure 1,000 and... Uh, four millibars likely to intensify over the next few days up to about 50 miles per hour probably subtropical storm north atlantic that area of interest up north there and this is the gulf of mexico potential tropical cyclone 60 percent from the national hurricane center at the last update and looking pretty good actually on that latest imagery eastern pacific looking extremely quiet at this point not too much going on at all just some general cloudiness really and not even much of that actually um pretty a lot of high level activity. Further south uh, near the equator you've got a few um, flare-ups but really nothing at all that we can point out for potential development. The West Pacific you can see the uh, dying Buoloi which was a very ferocious storm passed very close to the um, Ogasawara Islands and Iwo Jima now heading off northeast turning post-tropical. There is an area of interest down there near Palau as well which the GFS is hinting could become a tropical storm or typhoon before striking the central Philippines on Monday. The Australia and South Pacific region is looking fairly quiet. General thunderstorm activity not too far from Vanuatu heading out towards Fiji as well but not much else. In, in the Indian Ocean we've got uh, obviously the storm um, the new cyclone which should get a name very soon and what's left of that invest in the Bay of Bengal moving up now towards Bangladesh. Sea surface temperatures look like this on the western coast of Mexico, still fairly warm, 28 or 29 degrees. We could still get a strong late season storm in the East Pack. North Atlantic really cooling down in the northern Gulf. In the southern part though still fairly warm and in the Caribbean warm as well, 28 plus still. Further out over the Atlantic it's marginal. In the Indian Ocean, uh, very warm now in the eastern Bay of Bengal, probably one of the world's hot spots at this point, around 30 or 31 degrees Celsius. The Arabian Sea, not quite as warm, 28, 29 degrees. And the Western Pacific, very warm in the tropical and equatorial zones, prime for any late season activity, I've got to say. Uh, this is Cyclone 4A. Still yet to receive a name. If the uh, India forecast is correct, they'll have it as a cyclone anytime, so they should be naming it soon. It's been looking pretty good. It's got that um, very um, dense core towards the center with some high cloud tops coming out of that. Imagery is uh, pretty sparse in this region, uh, but a fairly compact storm at this time, and I think it's got a good 
instead for intensification. And here is the subtropical depression. As you can see, not too much in terms of rainfall around the system, but you do get that with subtropical cyclones. The circulation is clearly defined. It's got winds around 30 miles per hour. We haven't seen an increase in that in about 24 hours though. Uh, we called it a subtropical depression late last night, early morning local time. So we'll keep our eyes on it, whether it does intensify a little more, whether it gets a tropi subtropical or even tropical storm status. I doubt the latter though. So here is October 25th around the world. The next name in the Atlantic will be Olga. Whether it comes out of this system or not in the Gulf remains to be seen. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Raymond. In the Central Pacific, the next name is Honei. In the Western Pacific, we're still looking out for the next name storm, which would be Matmo. And in the North Indian Ocean, for now at least, Kia is the next name on the list, followed by Maha on list 8. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text, and subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on any of those outlets, searching Force 13. That's all for now. We'll have more updates throughout the next few days. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.